I've been on the hunt for a good value battery support unit for my diagnostic activities and came across this Sealy BSCU 25 12 volt 24 volt battery support unit which will provide a maximum of 25 amps uh, battery charging support and 20 amps for diagnostics. But is it enough to perform the jobs you need to do on the modern vehicles today? So let's take a look. Now, it doesn't go without saying that if you're performing programming on a regular basis on modern vehicles, you're gonna need something serious like this GYS Flash 121. Now this will provide up to 120 amps um, battery support however it costs around about a thousand pounds so I did a little bit of maths simple maths and we're probably looking around about 10 pounds per amp of battery support when it comes to buying your battery chargers so it's not a very cheap option especially if you've got a lot of technicians in your workshop or if you just want something to support you while you're doing the odd diagnosis job if you're doing programming and um, it really is quite important that you have something that can support you it's not unusual for high consumers like uh, engine cooling van fans to switch on during the programming cycle, which will well exceed the 20 amps that the Sealy will provide. So if your battery does fail during programming, good luck. You're going to have a headache on your hands. We've got the 600 amp, amp clamp connected up onto Pico scope there. So let's just zero this off so we get a, a good idea of how much current is drawing. And let's first of all check out this 2007 mini so i'm going to go around both of the power cables there and just go and switch on the ignition okay so you can see there that we're definitely above the 20 amp mark if i put this around about the middle you can see that we're running at around 23 amps and we can use the kind of average measurement feature there to get a reading and it's giving us a, an average of around 23 amps. But we can see here the headlamps are on and the fans are also on in the car. So let's just turn them on because we wouldn't really leave those running while performing our diagnostics. And now you can see that with just the ignition on, we're only drawing around about three and a half amps, which, you know, is this battery support unit we've got here will more than support it. Okay, let's try something a little bit newer. So this is a 2018 uh, Volkswagen Passat and we can just go on to the main output cable down here that's coming off the battery. I'll just go and turn the ignition on. Okay, straight away there again, you can see that we've gone up to around about the 20 amp mark which is kind of at the top end of this battery support unit however the lights are on and i think the climate control is also on on this car so let's uh, switch all that off and now we've gone down to around about 12 13 amp so with those loads off there this little sealy 25 amp battery support unit is going to be more than enough to support you with your diagnostic activities Let's plug it in and see how easy it is to use. Okay, so we've got it plugged in there and it's not connected up at the minute. Um, here is where you switch your mode, so between 12 and 24 volts. So if you've got your, uh, the commercial guys out there that need the 24 volts, then this will help you. Um, again, just make sure that it is sufficient while you've got the ignition on. If we do exceed the current, I don't think we've got too much to worry about if it's a little bit. It will just mean we start drawing current from the battery and we're also running this at maximum all of the time. So let's connect it up to the car. So we've got a battery sensor on this. So it's very important that we go on the ground point there and not on the terminal. Otherwise we start putting current into the battery and the car doesn't register it. Okay, the only problem I see with this so far is that these are not so far apart so i might have to kind of modify this a bit to allow these to stretch a little bit more but it's not too much of a problem at the minute so you can see now that we've connected it up it's registered that we've got 12 volts on this battery uh, we can then hit mode to either charge and if you just leave it then it should so that's just showing that it's doing a repair cycle and now it's charging the battery and the 
charge voltage is uh, shown up on there. So we're going up and it would charge around about 14.4 volts. Okay, cooling fans come on now as well. It's gradually increasing that voltage. Okay, we can also change the display there to see how much current is putting into the battery. So you see there we've got uh, around 22 amps at the minute and charging is currently at 40%. So there's a bit of information there for you as well. What we can also do then um, is switch over to a diagnostic mode. So that's our diagnostic mode there. And diagnostic mode should run at around 13 and a half volts. Okay, so as we saw before, we're getting about 12 amps coming through out of the battery into the vehicle with the ignition on. Let's see how much the battery support is providing. We can see there that it's pretty much matching that level of support that we are requiring from inside the vehicle. So if we now switch on some loads like those lights, we can see that the battery support unit is also increasing its um, support there as well. So for the money, around about £230 I bought this for, it's pretty good value. So go and check it out if you're in the market for a uh, good value battery support unit.